Hi, welcome to the first session of Android Development Training using Java and Excel. In today's session, we are simply going to cover a few theoretical points about Android development. So, in which our first point will be Why should you learn Android? What are the advantages? What are the features of Android? So, the first and main important feature is Android is an open source, which means you can also contribute in Android OS, Android code or Android application. Okay, so second point I am going to cover is here is large audience. As compared to users of iOS and Android apps, you will simply find that number of users which uses Android are more than number of users of iOS okay. third point we are going to cover here is consider if you are developing an Android application and you want to deploy it so for deploying for deployment of Android application you must need to have a Play Store account you can deploy your all Android apps in case of iOS if you want to deploy any iOS application you must have iOS store account and in case of Android you must have Play Store account so by the consideration of pricing in, uh, with Play Store account and iOS store account for iOS store for each year we have to pay some amount for renewing your membership of iOS store in case of Play Store once you paid $25 you will have full lifetime access of Play Store account where you can deploy n number of Android applications it's valid for lifetime access Okay, so these are simply few basic points about Android and iOS. So next thing I am going to cover here is prerequisites. There are lots of videos on internet and lots of things you can check it out. Many of them always say that uh, you need to know nothing for learning Android. But I am going to be honest with you, you must know object oriented language for starting Android development second thing you, need, you must have is good debugging skill So in case of object oriented language, so it's common that uh, many technical institutes offers Java in their curriculum or in their academics. So if, uh, if you are not from any technical background, then you must learn any object oriented language which can be C++, Java, or it, can, it can be Python. But I will prefer if you are you don't have any technical background, you must learn C and then Java. Next point I am going to cover here is if you want to develop Android application, you must need an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. In this overall training, I am using your ID called Studio, which is designed by Intel IJ. In case of Android ID, if you need particular ID for development of Android apps, so you must need a PC or Mac with minimum. 4GB of RAM. 
it's minimum you can have more than that so we see is covered here and in this case if you are developing any android application you must test it before deployment so for testing android apps you need a real android device or you can use android emulator which is included in android studio So next point I am going to go here is why should you use only Android Studio and not any other IDE. So I am going to go a few advantages of using Android Studio as an IDE for your Android development. So first point it provides you auto correct feature which is pretty cool in case of development. Next thing, in case of Android ID, it provides emulator setup. Uh, what can I say? Panel. Third thing I can tell you here is in Android Studio, you can check real time performance. It allows you drag and drop design. And any more features. Okay. So now moving forward to know few facts about Android. So here I am going to list out few facts about Android. So fact one. In case of Android development with Java and XML, we are going to use Java as a backend language for app. XML as a content design language. These are main facts. And uh, in this case, we also use one more file called Android. XML, which is simply a XML file in which all configuration of your app resides. So that's it for today. I will tell you what we are going to cover in next session. Next session we are going to cover installation and configuration. By the end of next session, you all will be ready to type your code for Android development. For that, I will suggest you visit developer.android. So, thank you for attending this session. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will be back again with new fresh video. Thanks.